Hello friends, uh, this is just a short video to explain to you how you are supposed to use a gutta percha gauge. Okay? Before I talk, start talking about the gauge, let me first tell you about the different gutta percha points that are available. So in the bottom row here, we have some points from different manufacturers which are designed to be used with a particular file system. For instance, we have wave 1 gold primary points which are compatible with the wave 1 gold primary file. We have Pro Taper F2 compatible points from two different companies and we have a Pro Taper Next compatible point from Densply. Whereas on the top row, we have these two different points which say medium and fine medium. These are basically non-standardized gutta percha points which need to be customized as per your apical gauging. To customize these GP points, we have something known as a GP gauge which is available from different manufacturers. Uh, I have two versions of this GP gauge from Densply. Uh, as you can see, both of them look pretty much so similar and they are just different in color. On one side you have different holes and a measuring ruler whereas on the other side you have different numbers which basically denote ISO sizes starting from size 20 up to the largest size at size 1 for. Let's have a look at this gutta percha gauge under magnification so that you can appreciate all the details more clearly. Uh, you can see the largest hole is on the right left side of the scale and it goes on decreasing in diameter as we move towards the right side. So this is the smallest one right here and there is also a measurement ruler given right above. Once you flip the GP gauge on the other side you can see all these numbers starting from 20 and going up according to ISO sizes to 140. Now the way we are supposed to use the gutta percha gauge is first we need to choose our gutta percha point so here I have two non-standardized gutta percha points. This one is a fine medium and the next one that I'm going to place, the next one that I'm going to place is a medium point. You can appreciate the difference in the diameter of the medium as well as the fine medium point. Now when we need to customize these points, what I will do is place them in, for instance, the number 25 and we will check on the other side whatever excess gutta percha comes out will be cut by a sharp blade now this blade is going to cut the excess amount of gutta percha we have to make sure that this GP point is now flushed with the hole on the opposite side once this is done we now have a gutta percha point which is customized to size 25 same thing can be done with the other point that's the fine medium let's place it in the number 25 again whatever excess comes out is now going to be cut with the blade let's see what the blade does under higher magnification you can see the blade is giving a clean incision and cutting out all the excess which is jutting out outside this particular hole. Now what we have is an exact cut of size 25 which can be then placed in the canals. Thanks for watching and I hope this video was helpful for all of you. See you.